Hey, Layla. I'm going to have to work late tonight. Go ahead and eat without me, okay? I'm sorry I've been working late a lot lately. It's fine. Don't worry about me. You need to be worrying about yourself. I'm doing all right, Layla. I mean, I have been working late a lot. But I'm watching what I eat and I'm taking care of myself in general. I can handle it. Huh? I'm not talking about that. There's way more important things going on. What are you talking about? Your performance evaluation at work. It's coming up, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's next week. I know. That's why I'm asking you if you're doing okay. How are you feeling? You think you'll finally get a promotion? Oh, jeez. I don't know, Layla. It's not for me to decide. I couldn't say. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> you hope? I've been working really hard. I hope. I think they'll consider me for a promotion. I know it would mean a lot to you. Ugh, see? You're weak. Your stance is weak. Besides, isn't that what you said the last time? And what did you get? Nothing! Not even a raise! I know. I'm sorry. I've been doing my best. I'm much more efficient at work now, and things are going well. So what? None of that means anything if it's not acknowledged by the company in a real way like with a raise or a promotion. Who cares if you're more efficient if you're not getting anything for it? I... I guess I need to work harder. Get better results. Ugh! Really, Ethan? This is your problem. You're just a sheep. You don't take initiative. I'm sorry. I'm trying, Layla. Remember Keith? He was promoted to the head of international marketing last year. Oh yeah, Keith is the king of negotiations. He's gotten the most promotions in the least time in the history of the company. What about Keith? I was talking to his wife today. You know Nancy? Kinda arrogant and snobby. I think I met her once. I didn't know you guys were friends. You saw her today? We're not friends. I just ran into her today by chance while I was shopping. You know what she said to me? She asked me if you were still working as a marketing manager. Still, Ethan. Still! She just loves looking down on people. Yeah. I've heard she can be kind of stuck up about things like that. But what can you do? Some people are like that. This is not about Nancy Fancy Pants, Ethan. It's your fault. If you weren't stuck in the same position year after year, she wouldn't be able to talk to me like that. I mean, what is your problem? Everyone else is advancing. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. You guess? Really, Ethan? Do you understand what's going on? You're causing me embarrassment. It was humiliating having Nancy patronizing me like that. I'm sorry, Layla. All you do is apologize. Is that all you can do? Your sorries don't mean anything, Ethan. You are such an embarrassment. That's why you can't advance in the company. You've got to go for it more. I'm trying to change. I'm showing more initiative at the office, just like you told me to. Trying doesn't count, Ethan. Get something done for a change. I really picked the wrong horse to bet on. People said you had a lot of potential. Everyone thought that you were the most likely to succeed when you first started at the company. And where are you now? Still at the bottom of the barrel. I married a dud. This isn't how it was supposed to be. Hello? Ethan? You're just going to stick your head in the sand? You can't ignore me, Ethan. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to think of how I can explain myself to you. I think if you work hard and treat people with respect, you'll be valued by the company and rewarded accordingly. I try to be as sincere and diligent as possible. Show good work ethics, you know? I know you're diligent and caring. You're a nice guy. But being a nice guy isn't going to help you succeed in life. It's the exact opposite. Being nice is keeping you down, Ethan. You've got to get aggressive. Fight for what you want. You don't really believe that, right? Trust and respect are so important when building a business relationship. It could make or break a deal. It's good to have a solid relationship with your co-workers and clients. Oh, Ethan. You need to get real. You really think that's how the world works? Don't make me laugh. If that worked, you'd have advanced in the company by now. Don't you think? Where are your results? Um, you know, in time, things will be different. In time? How long are you going to wait around for something to change? You have to stand out. 
Be proactive. Do whatever you need to get that promotion. I'm doing my best, Layla. I'm trying to get noticed more at work. You know, coming up with new promotion plans and ideas, staying overtime, showing I'm a valuable employee. You know none of that means anything. You're wasting your time. That's not how you advance in a company, Ethan. You really don't know anything about getting what you want. Um, then what do you think I should be doing? What else is there than working hard? If your boss likes you, that's all that matters. He's the one that evaluates you, so his opinion is everything. Don't you understand that? You've got to get on his good side. Do him a few favors or something. Well, I don't know. I really don't like sucking up to people. I'm no good at it. Besides, I don't think Chris likes me very much. Your boss doesn't like you? Boo-hoo! Do something about it! You need to take charge of your life, Ethan. Stop making excuses. You're a wimp, Ethan. Grow a pair, won't you? I'm sorry. Again? All you do is apologize. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I mean, where's your self-respect? You have no sense of dignity. I'm sorry. Ugh, this is pointless. What's the use? This is getting depressing. You do overtime or whatever and keep hoping for the best. I'm going to bed. All right, Layla. I'll keep doing what I can. You have a good night. I did it, Layla. I finally got it. Huh? Ethan? What's going on? Why are you texting me? Aren't you still at work? I just got called into human resources. They've decided to promote me. Oh, good. That's great. Finally. They evaluated my efforts at work very highly. I'm so glad I'm finally being rewarded for all that hard work. It feels good, you know, having your diligence appreciated like this. Isn't it great? <laughs> diligence and hard work? You're so naive, Ethan. You really think that's how you got this promotion? Stop with the nonsense. What? But I got the promotion. Yeah, but this promotion doesn't have anything to do with your stupid work ethics or whatever. It's all about how you play your cards. I told you, you need your boss to like you. That's how you move up in life. Huh? But I haven't sucked up to my boss at all. What are you talking about? Maybe you haven't sucked up to him. That doesn't mean someone hasn't on your behalf. Your promotion was no accident, Ethan. I don't get it. I've been sleeping with Chris. I've been meeting him regularly now. In return, I asked him to give you a promotion. Wait, what? You're joking, right? What? You have a problem with what I did? It's your fault for being such a wimp. If you could get that promotion yourself, I wouldn't have had to seduce your boss in the first place. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself. That's not what I mean. This is kind of awkward. Chris didn't have anything to do with my promotion. What are you talking about? He's the one that does your performance evaluation. Did imagining me and Tim together mess with your brain or something? You can't handle it, can you? No, Layla. I'm fine. Then how can you say he didn't have anything to do with your promotion? You should be thanking me. He's your direct supervisor. I did what I had to to get you that promotion, Ethan. Right. But I'm actually his superior now. He works under me. Huh? You're making no sense. He's the director. How could he be working under you? What are you talking about? Remember how I told you Chris didn't seem to like me? In fact, he was pretty openly disdainful of me. So? What does that have to do with anything? You got the promotion. It doesn't matter if he likes you or not. He just needed to be enticed a little. Actually, in this case, it does matter how he treated me at work. Apparently, the reason he disliked me was because I was better at work and better liked at the office. You? Better at your job than your own boss? I don't believe it. Well, it's true. That's why he would take credit for my ideas and report some of my contributions to the company as his. You're kidding. I heard it from Chris directly. It's true, Layla. He was sabotaging my evaluation at work. It's all come to light now. The Human Resources Department looked into it. They have proof. That's... How could this happen? The truth is out. 
Having looked at the true numbers and results, they reevaluated both our work evaluations since we started at the company. As a result, I was promoted to director and given a pretty decent raise. Chris was reprimanded with a demotion and a short suspension. So, Chris works under you now? Really? Yes, really. I mean, he should have been fired for what he did if we're being completely honest. Some of the stuff was pretty shady. But I asked the company not to make it into too big of a deal. I asked them to be lenient with him. You know what, though? I think he'd rather be fired, since now he's working at the same department with the guys he used to talk down to. Everybody knows what kind of boss he was. He's conniving and underhanded. You know he's been embezzling money from the company? <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't be worried about Chris's well-being. I'm the one that accused him to begin with. You? You accused him? I'm the one that made the formal complaint, yeah. It took me months to prepare all the evidence. It went really smoothly, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. But you never do anything like that. I've never seen you speak up or stand up for yourself. I don't believe you. There's got to be some sort of mistake. There's no mistake, Layla. I did it. I built a case against Chris and got the company heads to reevaluate both of us. But the only thing you're good at is apologizing. You can't do anything without my help. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You're right. You've helped me a lot. What do you mean, I helped you? I'm just a regular full-time homemaker, Ethan. How am I supposed to know about what's going on at your job? But you did help. Immensely, actually. The messages between the two of you were one of the key pieces of evidence I handed in. What? I saw your conversation with Chris, Layla. I read all of it. That's how I know you knew all about it. You knew Chris was taking credit for my work all along. Huh? Wait, hold on. So you've been looking through my phone? I can't believe it! What is wrong with you? Who does that? I didn't plan on it. The first time, I just glanced over at your phone when you got a notification and saw a message from him. I wasn't thinking much. I just thought, huh, why is my boss messaging my wife, you know? I never would have expected to find out that you were sleeping with him. Honestly, it hit me pretty hard. I told you, I did it for you. You weren't advancing at work, and I did what I had to. You did it for me? Layla, I read all of the messages. Don't lie to me. You said I deserved it and laughed when Chris said he took credit for my last big pitch. You seem to be pretty happy about it, huh? What was it you said? Oh, Director Hansen, you'll be vice president in no time. You go for it, big boy. Sounded like you were pretty happy for your lover boy, weren't you? <laughs> wow. So, you actually read through everything, huh? Your wife's conversation with her lover. I mean, what sane person would put himself through that? What are you, a masochist? Why would you do that to yourself? It was important proof, Layla. I had to read everything. It wasn't easy, but I needed to know as much as I can. I learned a lot. Right. Sure. So, that's how you got the evidence to make a formal complaint to higher-ups in the company? Among other evidence. I've been working on this for months, Layla. I didn't want Chris to make a move before I was ready. I see. So, you've been pretending like you don't know what's going on for months. And all the while, you were building up evidence against Chris? Exactly. You seem pretty nonchalant about the whole thing. Aren't you going to defend yourself? I mean, I don't understand how you can be so in my face about this. Defend myself? Why? You just said you read all of the messages. What's the point? Besides, Chris got demoted, right? There's no use wasting my time on a loser like that. You really are a bloodsucker, aren't you? It's disgusting. I'm starting to feel bad for Chris. <laughs> it's his own fault for screwing up at work. He has to man up and deal with the consequences. That's not my problem. But you know what? It all worked out in the end. You got that promotion, right? You're welcome. Huh? Um, hold on. After all this, you don't think we're going to stay together as man and wife, do you? What? Of course. What are you talking about? You understand I've stuck by you through thick and thin for this long. Your advancement at work, everything you have now is thanks to me, Ethan. You're not going to dump the woman who has been nothing but devoted. You can't be serious. You're even worse than I thought. 
I guess men are just like accessories to you. Our worth is solely based on our income, right? No, Ethan. I really truly love you. You know that. Or else why would I sleep with that numbskull? The only thing he had going for him was money. Ugh. You're scum, Layla. Just revolting. I guess I need to spell it out for you. We're getting a divorce, Layla. There is no way I'm staying with someone like you. Oh, come on, Ethan. You'd be hard-pressed to find a woman who devotes herself to her husband like I do. You better recognize how lucky you are, Ethan. Not many women would do what I do for you. You're going to regret it if you divorce me. That's not for you to decide, is it? It's my life. I want to spend it with someone sincere and trustworthy. I don't want a wife that would describe sleeping with my boss's dedication. I don't think I'll regret my decision. Really? Because if you do this, there's no going back. I'm never going to come back to you. I think you're the one that's put yourself in a position where there's no going back. I don't want the divorce to drag out. Just to let you know, I'm going to show your message history to your parents as well. It's going to be a lot easier for them to understand my point of view that way. It's a reality check, really. Are you stupid? What are you trying to do? If you show them that, it's going to make me look bad. Ah, uh, so you do understand you did something that looks bad. You may not have a conscience, but at least you understand common sense. Just shut up. You have no right to bring my parents into this. Are you trying to ruin my life? You ruined your own life, Layla. Think about it. You need to think things through before putting them into action. You're reckless. That's why you hopped in bed with my boss. You accomplished nothing and lost everything. But what am I supposed to do? I don't care, Layla. You can figure it out. You're not my problem anymore. Ethan! Hey, Ethan. How are you doing? I'm fine. What do you want? Ethan, don't be like that. You know I'd do anything for you. That's the only reason I slept with that idiot boss of yours. And it worked! You got a promotion, didn't you? We still love each other, Ethan. I can't give up on us like this. Can you? Layla, I already did. And I don't love you anymore, so don't talk to me like I do. I'm done with you. Don't say that. Don't you see how much you mean to me? I've done everything to support you as a wife. Seriously. You need to stop justifying your affair as some sort of favor to me. You cheated on me, period. End of story. You did it for you, not me, Layla. I don't know if you ever had feelings for me. In the end, all you care about is yourself. That's not true. I love you. You love you, Layla. And money. That's what's important, right? You were just looking to see if you could switch over to a bigger fish. You're just a parasite, Layla. I see that now. How can you talk to me like that? You never would have gotten that promotion without me, you know? If you think about it, I wouldn't have had to sleep with Chris if you took initiative at work and got promoted on your own merits. I did, Layla. I just didn't get properly evaluated because of him. Having a boss take credit for your work? Having your wife do favors for your advancement? That's all because you weren't cutting it. So stop talking down to me like that. You need someone like me. We're a good team. I respectfully disagree. You're not a good partner. We can make it work, Ethan. I've been a good wife to you. You got that promotion. I'm not sleeping with him anymore. We can just start over. You really believe that, don't you? You actually think you were supporting me by sleeping with my boss? Of course. Don't you see my devotion to you? I guess I'm not going to change your point of view on this. We'll just have to agree to disagree. Right. We can agree to disagree. So we can get back on track and start enjoying our life together again. We haven't even celebrated your promotion. You're serious? You think I'm just going to forget everything and get back together with you? Yes! I'm your wife, Ethan. I'd do anything for you. You know that, right? Hmm. That is very kind of you. So, you want to do something for me? Yes, Ethan. Tell me what you want. I'll do it. I'd like a quick and painless divorce. So I guess what you could do for me right now is to get those documents signed ASAP and get me my divorce settlement. What? No! 
I don't want a divorce. That's the best thing you could do for me, Layla. After that, Layla and I went forward with the divorce as planned. The text conversation between Chris and Layla worked to my advantage, and I got a lot of sympathy from the court. While preparing documents to show our financial statements, it came to light that Layla had been secretly removing money from various accounts we have. As a result, I was able to get out of paying any sort of divorce settlement or spousal support. I even got the house. Layla was left with nothing. Upon advice from my lawyers, I also sued Chris in civil court for loss of wages, workplace harassment, and tortious interference. Again, the text messages came in handy as proof, as it read like a confession letter. Chris is still working at the company, more as a punishment than anything, since he also owes the company for the money he embezzled. The decision was made that he would be better off working to pay back what he had stolen rather than in jail. He comes into the office every day, completely miserable and haggard from the stress. He's forced to come into an office where the employee he used to bully is now his boss, and everybody knows about the countless underhanded things he's done to those around him. I don't feel sorry for him, though. He deserves what he gets for stealing my wife and stealing credit for my work. Of course, Layla doesn't want anything to do with him now that he's up to his neck in debt. Penniless, Layla started working, but can't seem to keep a job. She's tried working at an office as a secretary, a dog groomer, a diner. She always seems to cause trouble within a couple of weeks and gets fired. I guess leaping your way to the top doesn't work as easily as she expected. I hope she is able to make a living for herself doing a decent job, but it doesn't look likely. I'm sure she's going to end up going the most direct route for getting money for sexual favors. But that's not my problem anymore. Me? I'm doing great. Thanks to finally being evaluated and rewarded fairly at work and my tormentor being finally pacified, I am enjoying my days at the office and the people I work with. This incident has taught me that nothing beats honesty and true work ethic. It reaffirmed to me that nice guys don't always have to finish last. Sometimes we can also become the boss. <laughs>